Okay guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing this game, Hide and Seek, which is basically, as you can probably tell, it's a game where you can, where someone is it, like I am right now, you have to find the other people in this game, and a different player gets chosen to be it, every round. So, let's go up here and see I can find someone. Oh, I found someone. And you can just run into them and that happened. So, I got two players. So, now there are seven of them left. So, yeah, I'll still find them. Oh, I found one of them. I Yeah, I found one of them. Get back here. Come on. Gotta catch them. Yes, I caught them. And there are a lot of places to hide in this game. So, in each of these maps, there are lots of places where you can hide. And, yeah, so you have to hide well if you want to get away from the seeker that was chosen for this round. Okay, I did well, I got six out of the nine players and now a new map is being chosen the same map again the workshop and now the seeker is being chosen this guy right here that's the new seeker for this round so yeah we have 57 seconds to get out of this area before the seeker is released and then he'll be trying to find us. The seeker is like trapped in this square thing but not when the countdown is over. So we got hide. Where do I hide? Uh, so this is, there is like this little place below the regular floor you can hide in one of these steps and so I hope I don't get caught there's it so we can spectate on him okay I hope he doesn't find us okay I'm doing good so far so yeah I really like how this game was done and oh no 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 if you're caught by the seeker then you basically lost the round, and now you have to spectate everyone else. So, yeah. Now that I've been found, all you can do now is watch the seeker and everyone else in the round that's still playing. Okay, so I like the game and how everything was made, and I recommend it for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.